today I have a really quick one for all you amateur radio enthusiasts out there. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCB Way. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. For those of you who have followed the channel for a long time, you might be familiar with a, a master frequency list I maintain for my radio listening. This is just a spreadsheet uh, that I've maintained for years with all the kind of handy frequencies, RF frequencies that are of interest to me, and they might be of interest to you too. Go to my GitHub to grab these, just download the Excel spreadsheet and open it up in either Excel or LibreOffice or whatever you've got. Along the bottom here, you're going to notice that there's tabs for everything. The first tab, which is the furthest left here, is the one I use most often. This is the Amateur Radio Satellites tab. This is uh, updated, I just updated it today actually on the date of making this video in June 2020. But uh, you can always grab the newest information from these links, but it's filtered in, and and all the information on each satellite, including their, their designator, whether it's active or inactive, the NORAD ID uplink is your uplink frequency to talk to that satellite, downlink is to receive from it, the beacon, the mode, the call sign, uh, links to the reports of whether it's up or down. So in the case of this video, I'll show you, I'll leave you with some footage at the end of me going outside. Um, not sure when this was. It was a couple of months ago where I went out and received uh, Alpha Oscar 92 satellite with my just my handy talkie. I do this quite often. I use the um, uh, and a, and a tracking app on my cell phone to just slip outside and grab some satellite reception. It's fun to just listen in on them. But here's all kinds of them. You can see Light Sail 2 is still on here. All kinds of them on here. So if you want to, the ones of interest, if you've got a handy talkie like the Baofeng or whatever, you want anything um, that has a, a downlink mode uh, for FM reception. So if we can maybe find one of those here. So here's Alpha Oscar 92 right here, the one that I received. You can see it says voice right here and our downlink and uplink frequencies. Voice is the what you want if you want to listen to voice. If you want to do data modes, that's cool too. Uh, you're just going to need some specialized equipment. But anyway, moving on, FCC all frequencies. This is the FCC frequency band plan. Basically, what lives on what frequencies. Handy to know. This is pretty detailed. Um, I don't remember where I found this. It was years ago, but the band plan doesn't change much uh you see it was published 94 ham bands this is just the ham band chart handy to have everybody uh, all the amateur radio guys pretty much have one of these up on their wall this may be outdated yeah pretty outdated you grab a new one if you want but most things don't change citizens band handy dandy Marine VHF is next with all of our different marine VHF frequencies. Some of these may be a little outdated, but they don't change much. Uh, FRS, Family Radio Service, GMRS, and MERS, these are kind of handy. And then the same codes for the weather radio. Uh, this is specific area something, something. I can't remember. Anyway, it's the alerts that you get on your weather radios to tell you when bad weather's coming. Um, HF band stuff, uh, just reference stuff handy to know and Q codes. Um, you've heard people using Q codes here. They are, uh, to tell you what they actually mean. 10 codes. These are police codes. These verify or these change by area. Um, depends on where you are, but this is this kind of standard list. High frequency fax. This is where you can get uh, um, weather pictures via fax over high frequency short wave. Pretty cool. Uh, some of them are, are quite active. It looks like I updated this in February 2020, uh, but might, might still have some obsolete ones in there. HFA cars, if you're into listening to A cars, uh, more HFA cars. HF 2020 frequency list is global shortwave frequency list, which is uh, from the bbc.co.uk website here. Pretty handy stuff. Uh, what made me a little sad is everything to the right of here. This used to be, all of this used to be maintained from this primetime shortwave site. Uh, it is now defunct, but he maintained uh, all these master high frequency lists, um, shortwave lists of all the stations. But the cool part was, is they were by time or by country 
or by frequency. So if you stumbled across a frequency, you wanted to know who it was, you go here. If you wanted to listen to a specific country, go here. If you want to know what's live at a specific time, you went here. Uh, if anybody knows of a new site that's got something like this up, please let me know. Um, it's a shame Primetime Shortwave stopped doing this. So Ernest Riley, it looks like was his name. Uh, Anyway, really handy resource. Some of this stuff will still be accurate. A lot of these shortwave stations have been around for decades and they'll probably be around for decades more. So pretty cool. Anyway, I have a, just a handy little sheet that I maintain for you guys uh, and all you amateur radio enthusiasts out there. Uh, this is just how I do it. I really like the slipping outside and listening to a, a satellite pass with my, my handy talkie. It's, it's a lot of fun. Cheers, guys. Good luck in all your projects. Thanks, uh, Mike Whiskey, for, uh, for Canada, and uh, hello from Dalton, Hampton. KI4ASKEM74. Uh, FN24. FN24, thanks. Kilowatt, back India, FN24, have fun. Uh, Yeah, 4 ask November 2, Zulu, November 1, 3. 